Welcome to CG channel. Today we'll be talking about uh, keyboard shortcuts for InDesign. So uh, let's get started. The first one we're going to talk about is about font size. So let's grab uh, uh, the text tool and type something in. Let's type Adobe InDesign and select the text by control all. And when we press Control Shift in the in the right, uh, or rather the greater than sign or the or the full stop sign, it increases the font, and the comma reduces the font size, like that. Moving on to pages, so if you want to move to another page or jump to another page, we don't really need to. Uh, go to this panel on the right. You can just press Control J and mention the page number, and we're there. Go back to the first page, just Control J, and we are back to page number one. So, moving on to the next one, the next one is about the uh, stroke and fill. So, let's uh, make a circle using the ellipse tool and we don't really need to go to this panel on the right to toggle between uh, stroke and fill all we need to do is press X and it, it switches between the two between stroke and fill so let's uh, uh, let's change the fill color to pink and maybe change the stroke to eight and press X to switch between the two. Easy, isn't it? So the next one is also about fills. If we click on the, the front slash, it changes the fill to none. You want it back, click on uh, comma, and it reverts to the fill. You want to change it to gradient, press full stop, and it changes to the gradient. want to go back to none, and just click on the, the front slash once more. So the next one is about uh, kerning and leading. So let's fill the text box with some uh, placeholder text. And uh, when you select the text, uh, you don't really need to go to the control panel. Just select the text and uh, press Alt and the right arrow, uh, sorry, the left arrow to reduce the kerning. Right arrow is for increasing the, the kerning. We can even change the leading by selecting the entire text and the down arrow increases the leading, the up arrow reduces it. The next one is about master page. So let's go to, the, to a master and type something in. Let's type uh, sample text. And uh, obviously, when we type something in the, in the master page, we will find it reflecting in every other page. So, what if we don't want it on page five, for example? So, let's try and click on it. You will find that it doesn't get selected. So, for it to for for you to select it, just click on Control Shift and then double click on it, and you will be able to edit it or even delete it for that matter. So now let's move on to the last keyboard uh, shortcut. When we go to the, the, the menu options, you will find that uh, they're not alphabetically arranged. Uh, so to arrange them alphabetically, all we need to do is press Control, Alt and Shift. And then when we go to these menu options, any of these menu options, you will find they are alphabetically arranged. Like this. All of them, they are alphabetically arranged. So that's all for now, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one pretty soon, thank you.